Migrants from all over the world being stopped by Texas. Earlier today, right here in Brownsville, you'll see people crossing the river in mass, women, children, families, single adults. But when they reach the U.S. side of the river, they are not welcomed with open arms like we've been seeing with the federal government. They are stonewalled by the state of Texas. That is rows of concertina wire with Texas soldiers and Texas DPS troopers who are taking a much stricter approach now, physically blocking these migrants from entering Brownsville after they have crossed illegally the first time these last couple days in our coverage of the border crisis that we have ever seen them doing this. And another video we'd like to show you. Take a look at this. Stunning visuals from our drone team again, showing just the massive amounts of trash and rubbish and clothing left behind by these migrants in this hot spot crossing area right here in Brownsville. And mixed in with all of that trash and clothing are IDs and documents from all around the world as these migrants continue to come in from all over the place. And that trash that trash pile you see there, there are dozens like them all across the border. Another video to show you. Take a look. We went down to the edge of the river here in Brownsville. We looked across into Matamoros, where you can see there are masses of people gathering on the other side of the river, some of them waiting for Title 42 to drop tonight. Others deciding, well, we're going to go for it now. They come across, and then they get stonewalled by the Texas National Guard and Texas DPS as well. This has been going on every minute of every day the last several days that we have been out here, and it is not going to slow down anytime soon. And back out here live, Mark, the CBP sources confirming to me that last night the chief of U.S. Border Patrol sent a memo out to all of his sector chiefs authorizing the use of parole releases. What does that mean? It means that in certain cases, migrants will be released into a community without an alien registration number, which is used to track them without a future court date as well. Instead, they're just released and they're asked to please turn themselves into ICE within 60 days. We'll send it back to you. Yeah, Bill, quick question for you. So uh, I think we have a map of the areas that are full to capacity. You've got RGV, El Paso, Yuma, Tucson, San Diego, Del Rio, El, El Centro. So in those communities, if you live there, you can expect that there are mass releases that will be happening into your neighborhoods, into your town. Where are those people supposed to go? Well, when they do those releases, typically what they do is they try to drop them off at either a gas station or a bus stop. So they have some way of transporting themselves elsewhere. But as we've seen in El Paso, sometimes that's not always the case. And the migrants will just kind of uh, start camping out on city streets. And that's when you start getting those camps of several hundred, upwards of a couple thousand, where they've got nowhere to go. And you start getting those huge encampments. So uh, the Border Patrol Union has told us we can prepare to see the largest wave of mass releases in U.S. history in these coming days, Martha. So one more question. When the amazing video that you showed us before, those areas were open. And now you have Texas Rangers dangers blocking them with razor wire. And where do those people go? They go back down into the river and do they go back to Mexico? Where do they go? Yeah, some of them are going back to Mexico to look for another area to cross where there's less resistance. Actually, this area behind me right now, um, the first few days we were here, we were getting enormous lines of people crossing illegally behind us. And ever since Texas showed up uh, and it put all the wire down with all their troops, the number of illegal crossings here have really slowed down. I haven't seen a big line here um, since a couple of days ago. So at least in this one location, what Texas is doing uh, is having results. Okay, Bill, thank you. We'll come back to you uh, as this story breaks. Bill Malusion for us in Brownsville, Texas. Former